What up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's she a guy. Some, some, some. Hit the keys. Here today to bring you guys seven free plugins that have come out basically in like the last week or so. I know I just did one of these videos last week, but I guess I missed some stuff. So here we are. Uh, make sure if you guys do like this content, though, you drop a whole elbow on that like button. Hit subscribe and that notification bell so every time we bring you guys a new video, you can be the first to see. But with no further delay, let's get into the freebies. Some, some, some hit the key. All right, guys. So the first free plugin I have for you guys today uh, comes from Electronic Sound Labs. It's called Creepy Piano 3 Light. Um, so when you open up the plugin, it is going to look like this. Um, it's similar to Creepy Piano 1 and 2. They have added a few new presets, um, but they've also added things like rain, vinyl crackling. You get some wind, you get some other sounds here. You also get delay and reverb now as well. Um, so those are some nice touches as well. Um, so this is what the first preset is going to sound like. So super dark. Um, but it's again, it's a new preset for this plugin, um, but you can do things like turn on the rain. Um, so now we turned on the rain. Um, you can also turn on vinyl if you want to. And then they have like wind and darkness over here as well. So with the darkness, you can hear a little bit in the background. Uh, it seems like there might be a little issue though, that every time I stop and play, I might have to turn the knob again. So hopefully they can get that rectified. Yeah, that needs to be fixed. Um, but then down here we have delay and reverb. So let's check those out real quick. So you can hear the reverbs giving it more movement. And then you can also change the reverb time. So you can sync it to different, uh, you know, triplets or whatever it is that you want to uh, sync it to. So that's nice as well. And then we'll go ahead and hit this reverb one too. So let's go ahead and check out another preset. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna turn off the reverb and the delay for just a moment. Let's check out another one. So there's definitely some stuff to work with in here. Um, if you have Creepy Piano 2, I would go ahead and just upgrade to this one because it does have all the presets and everything from the previous version as well. All right, guys, and the second free plugin that I have for you guys today is actually a free expansion pack, and it's definitely a shameless plug. Um, I just recently dropped a free expansion pack for Playbeat 3. Um, so it looks like this, it is called Igniter. Um, there is 60 different samples in there and there is also um, 13 different drum presets. Uh, so one of the drum presets sounds like this. So I did do a video on this just the other day, card in the corner, um, where I went through most of the presets, some of the sounds and so on and so forth and explain how to use this. This is good for um, whatever version of Playbeat that you are using. You can use this sample pack in as well. Um, I'll leave the link below in the description. And again, it's free. I made it for y'all, man. And the third free plugin that I have for you guys today comes from my guy, a goose over at Monster Daw. It's called Monster Strings. Uh, when you open up the plugin, it is going to look like this. Um, you get a little bit of control over your volume, your reverb, your chorus, your delay. And obviously you get the ADSR uh, controls right here as well. It's got 13 different string presets and I'll go ahead and play a few of them for you guys.
That vibrato violin is nice to me. I like it. So as you can see, the plugin definitely has some interesting sounding strings. Um, another one I would recommend checking out, especially if you like some strings. I feel like we've been getting spoiled lately though. Like there's been a lot of fire string plugins to come out. This is definitely one of them as well. The fourth free plugin that I have for you guys today comes from Noise Ash. It's called Action Tremolo. Uh, when you open up Action Tremolo, it is going to look like this. Um, so what makes this tremolo plugin pretty nice is that it also has distortion or drive down here. Um, you got tremolo and you got pan mode right here. So I threw it on those same strings that we had before. Um, before the strings, again, they sounded like this. But once we throw Action Tremolo on there, the basic preset's gonna sound like this. So you can change the waveform if you want to, um, to whatever it is that you want. You can change the intensity. You can also mess with the drive. Or you can turn it up if you want to. You can mess with the rate over here. And then you also have intensity, which you can mess with as well on pan mode. And then you also have waveform, which you can mess with as well. You can do random too. And so again, you can make that work, you know what I'm saying? Now you can get some tremolo in your whatever it is, whether it's your guitars, your pianos, your strings, whatever instrument it is that you're using. The fifth free plugin that I have for you guys today comes from the GOAT Spitfire Audio Labs. It is called Electronic Antique. Uh, when you open it up, it is going to look like this. Basically, this plugin is an old synth, one of the first synths ever created that has been sampled, um, and it's got a unique texture. It's good, but it's one of those ones that I would personally add some effects to, but I do like the bass sound. I mean, it does sound like this. Hey, You know, so it doesn't sound bad at all. It definitely sounds, you know, sounds pretty good. Uh, we can throw some reverb on there. Um, so with this too, there's all the effects over here. If you click in this middle. So you do have some control over the sound and it does, again, it does sound very nice. Um, there's a few different presets in here that you can mess with. Uh, so let's go ahead and check out a couple more. Check out another one. So just unique sound, you know, there ain't nothing that really sounding like this right now. So I feel like you could use this for lo-fi. I feel like you could use this for R&B, hip hop, whatever genre really, I feel like you could use this for, maybe not no super left brand um, genre, but I feel like you could use this one in a lot of stuff too. All right guys, and the sixth free plugin that I have for you guys today comes from Electronic Sound Labs as well. It's called 808 Bass Module 5. Uh, when you open it up, it is going to look like this. So it does look similar to the other 808 bass modules, um, except for down here, it's got a little bit different chorus. 
Um, this one does have the same presets as 808 base module four. I wish they would have just called it like 808 base module four XL. Um, but the difference is this does now have distortion on it and it's got chorus so that you can widen out um, the sound of the 808. Cause you know, nowadays there's a lot of wide 808s out there. You know what I'm saying? Um, so let's go ahead and hit play on this. So that's one of the base 808s, but we're gonna go ahead and mess with this distortion for a minute and see what we can get it to sound like. And then we'll turn the chorus on from there. So you can get that 808 to be super aggressive. And then if you turn the chorus on, um, you can definitely get it to be a little wider too. And just that easy, you got that wide sound in 808. Let's go ahead and play a couple more presets real quick. Um, so we'll play this one right here. So it's not bad sounding at all. Another thing that's nice about this too is if I have this like distortion on and the, the high frequencies is too much for me. You got that cutoff knob right there and you can affect that as well. Uh, so let's go ahead and put it on this 808 real quick and let's just see what it sounds like um, in context with everything else in the beat. Um, you know, just to see kind of what it sounds like. I didn't make a full beat for you guys today. So uh, this is the most that you guys are gonna get for the beat on this one, I apologize, but. So again, you can use that 808 and really all these sounds, you can use all this stuff together and get yourself a little fire, little beat. And the seventh free plugin that I have for you guys today actually surprised the mess out of me when I checked it out. Um, it's called Rolled Gold. It's by Black Rooster Audio and it's a plate reverb. Um, so when you open it up, it's gonna look like this. It only has a few controls, but trust me, that's all you need on this one. And I know you're probably thinking to yourself, I got enough reverbs, but this is what the audio sounded like coming out of Arcade before I threw any reverb on there. I don't wanna, oh, oh, don't you, why, why, I don't. All right, so pretty clean vocal right there. I took all the effects off that vocal. Now let's go ahead and throw this plate reverb on there and see what it sounds like. I don't wanna, oh, oh, don't. That <laughs> sounds great to me. You can mess with the bass cut a little bit if you want to. You can obviously make it damper. You got wet controls over here and pre-delay. So that doesn't sound bad at all. Let's go ahead and take a listen to it real quick on some drums too, just so you can hear what it sounds like with some drums. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to play uh, that little sample that I had there from the free expansion pack for Playbeat, you know, the igniter. All right, so now let's go ahead and turn this on real quick and see what it sounds like. I'm gonna turn the mix down just a little bit and we'll mess with it. So again, it's pretty decent sounding reverb. I might not use it on drums, but I just wanted you guys to hear what the tail and everything of the reverb sounded like. So um, that's everything I have for you guys today. As always, I will have the links below in the description. Hopefully I can help you find something here that's pretty good. I feel like there is a few good items up in this list today. Uh, make sure if you guys do like this content though, you drop a whole elbow on that like button, hit subscribe and that notification bell. So every time we bring you guys a new video, you can be the first to see. Appreciate you guys' time as always, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. All right, guys and gals, thanks for watching the video. Uh, make sure you hit the subscribe and like button. Uh, make sure you hit that notification bell so every time a new video comes out, you can be the first to know. Uh, let me know what tutorials you want to see next in the comments, and see you next time.
Something, something, something. Hit the key.